Hey, what's up everyone? It is Taiyi's hair. So in today's wash day, I will be showing you how I take my natural 4C hair from being dull, dry, and undefined to super moisturized and defined. So I did partner with the Itcha Naturals hair care line and this brand is from the Janet Collection. They came out with a natural hairline for us. So to start my wash day, I will be parting my hair going down the middle right here so that I can go ahead and use the Curl Hydrating Shampoo. So this is a protein moisture balance shampoo. It has protein, biotin B complex, coconut oil and rosemary oil it is sulfate free silicone free paraben free so i find that when i use the shampoo i only have to lather it once to get a nice lather meaning that it definitely lifts a lot of the dirt and oil off of my hair very easily it doesn't strip my hair i love that my hair still feels moisturized after using this shampoo, but it is super clean as well. So there's no compromise when it comes to the Curl Hydrating Shampoo. So now it is time to soften my hair and get it re-moisturized for the week. So I'm using the Curl Hydrating Conditioner. And this conditioner is super thick, y'all. It resembles more like a deep conditioner. I don't even know why they put it in a bottle. I feel like it deserves to be in a jar at least. So when I put this conditioner on my hair, it feels so good. And it smells amazing. It smells just like candy. I find that the... Conditioner and the shampoo do not have the same scent. The conditioner definitely have more of a sweeter candy-like scent, whereas the shampoo have more like a floral scent. So I'm applying the shampoo in sections, making sure that I apply it from my ends all the way to my roots. And instantly when I apply this conditioner to my natural hair, my hair is instantly softened so much. This conditioner has amazing detangling properties y'all i don't usually detangle when i apply my conditioner but i was just so tempted or i just had the urge to because of how soft my hair felt so i'm moving on to the second section and it's the same result y'all i'm so amazed by this product i literally am gonna go and buy me like two more bottles after this video <laughs> it's just so amazing i actually did a second wash day the following week and i had to finish off the bottle of this stuff because it is just so good like look at that slip my fingers is just instantly melting through my hair which means it detangles the hair so easy it felt like i deep conditioned my hair for 30 minutes at least the comb just glides through my hair i'm super impressed with this conditioner After rinsing out that conditioner and towel drying my hair for about 15 minutes, this is how my hair looks. It looks so healthy and vibrant. So now I will be following up with the Curl Moisture Leave-In Conditioner and the Heat Protectant Spray. So this leave-in conditioner is a bit runny. It's on the lighter weight side, but it does sink into the hair. And then I follow up with the heat protectant spray so this is going to protect my hair from the blow drying process since i will be doing a stretch twist out this week and i find that the leave-in conditioner and the heat protectant spray don't provide as much slip as i would like it to but the leave-in conditioner does moisturize the hair well so i'm just blow drying my hair getting it nice and stretched so that i can go ahead and do a different type of twist out you know i just want to switch it up this week from the regular shrunken twist out that i usually do on my hair 
and also bring you guys a new hairstyle tutorial in this wash day. So now that my hair is blown out, I am doing a middle part. So this is how I want my hair to fall. So when you're doing flat twist out, you want to part your hair how you want it to fall so that you don't over manipulate the hair when you're taking it down. So to add definition to my twist out, I will be using the curl defining smoothie. This smoothie is really thick. It feels really good on the hair. It feels very moisturizing. It feels more moisturizing than the leave-in conditioner and the heat protecting spray. So now that I have my first section, I will be flat twisting this side going straight down and you don't want to overwhelm the hair with too much of the curl defining smoothie just a little bit so that the hair doesn't start to revert too much because you want to maintain that stretch so to flat twist my hair i'm just twisting like a regular twist but i'm picking up hair behind that twist making sure that I do it as tight as possible to the scalp so that it comes out good and avoid borrowing hair when you're doing this hairstyle since you're going to be loosening it out. You don't want to have frizz and you want to have as much definition as possible. So when I get to the ends, I just go ahead and regular twist straight to the ends. So since this will be a flat twist out, I am not using a comb to part my hair. I'm using my fingers so that I do not have any unruly parts that I cannot get rid of. So keep that in mind when you're doing any type of low manipulation hairstyle that you're going to be loosened out. So this is a clearer view of how I flat twist. I just have two sections of hair and then I go ahead and twist it over the bottom section, pick up a little bit of hair under that section use the index finger to push through and pick up that hair and then you just do that all the way to the ends Okay, so this is how my flat twists look after doing them. They are so pretty, y'all. I was tempted to leave these in. I was not expecting them to look this juicy, but I need to revisit this hairstyle and actually leave it in next time. So now I will be using the Anti-Itch Relaxing Scalp Serum on my scalp. So this scalp serum have a lot of invigorating ingredients that adds a nice tingle to the scalp that I love to feel on my wash day. It has a lot of great ingredients such as nettle leaf extract, sage, grapeseed oil, you have the tea tree, the eucalyptus, peppermint oil. So all of that goodness is going into my scalp and nourishing it for the week and keeping it nice and healthy. We want to promote healthy follicles so that our hair can grow effortlessly and undisturbed.
So the key to a great twist out is your technique when you're taking it out. You want to be very careful. So don't start from the ends. You want to start from the top of that twist. Then pull it apart as you can see. And then you want to be careful and just gently unwind it. Do not disturb the pattern. So how you take down your twist determines how well it comes out and also how long it lasts after your wash day. So the first flat twist is out and I will be going ahead taking down the second. Start from the middle of that shaft. Then you work your way up. Make sure that when you're taking it out, you're not really disturbing it. You're just unwinding that section. That's why it's important not to borrow hair when you're twisting because you want it to fall how you twisted it up. So I am loving the end results for today's wash day. So my hair looks very moisturized. It feels moisturized. The definition is there. And my hair feels really bouncy. It definitely gives like salon quality feel. That feathery light bouncy hair feeling that moves when you move your head. It don't feel weighed down and greasy like it usually does with some natural hair products that I use. So I can definitely tell you that these products are lightweight. And they have great performance and they're super affordable. They work so great for the price point. So I will be leaving the link down below where you can check out Isha Natural Hair Care Line. This hair care line is by Janet Collection. If you don't know, Janet Collection is a big hair brand that sells like weaves and all of that stuff. So they came out with a natural hair care line for us girls that loves to wear our natural hair out instead of weaves so there is also a coupon code down below subscribe for weekly videos give this video a rating and let me know what you think about the performance of these products thank you so much for watching